I come from a unique family in a lot of ways. I was adopted when I was um, a baby and uh, to a wonderful family um, in the United States. And I'm one of the people who've been blessed to be able to meet my birth mother. Uh, I got to meet her in Korea a few years ago and she's um, an amazing woman. And it's a little bit awkward to actually meet your birth parent. I mean, adoption isn't easy, but the choice that she made, I mean, I would, I'm forever grateful that she decided to give me life. The Korean culture, it's not very accepted, especially at that age uh, or that time, to have a child out of wedlock. She could have made another choice. Be able to live a life, you know, I'm just so grateful for that. And so because of that, it was always important to me to be able to adopt. And then um, when we found that we couldn't have children, it was so, uh, such a no-brainer for us and I just can't even imagine um, our life without our daughter. She is so amazing and strong and um, we are able to experience her and have her in our family because of a choice that a mother made. You know, just this powerful decision that she made out of great courage and boldness and I'm sure a lot of sorrow to say, um, I'm gonna let someone else care for my child, and that to me is just so powerful. It's not an easy decision. I've met some of the birth mothers in Korea. Um, I've seen the struggle and the pain on their faces, and what do I do? It was amazing that they all had the strength to say, we're going to bring the child to term, where that's not always the case. There's a choice, right? And it's not an easy choice. <laughs> it's not an easy choice for anybody. And if, if you were to look at my life and say, is she worthy of that life? Should my mother have chosen to give me that life? At certain points, maybe you would say no, but I'm so grateful that I've had that opportunity to be able to um, make mistakes, be able to, yeah, I suffered some. Yeah, there were a lot of hard things, but just to be able to have that opportunity, right? Isn't that so powerful? Um, isn't that what we are here for? It was such an honor to be able to um, do that for another child. And really, it's just been the most rewarding thing. So I can't imagine I can't imagine what would have happened if my daughter's mother or my mother didn't, didn't choose life. I was very much pro-choice uh, for a good portion of my life. Um, you know, just thinking about the women and it's easy to identify with women. I'm like, yeah, I should have a choice. What are you talking about? Yeah, for choice, yeah. And then, you know, the older I got and, and as I saw, um, I don't know, I guess it's maybe it's maturing and getting into that point of, where all of a sudden my biological clock just kind of came on and I'm, I want children and I want to be a mom. And, and you know, I grew up thinking you just have, people have babies and you know, it just happens. And it didn't. My husband and I tried for years and we couldn't have our own child. And you know, going through that process and seeing how hard that can be. And I know I'm not the only one and other people I know have just suffered. And then it just made me think as I backtracked more and more that, wait a second, I'm, I am, I have been going through so much, you know, you do the fertility, all these other things, you know, to have a child. How can I possibly be pro-choice <laughs> when I am doing everything I can to be able to have a child? This just doesn't make sense. Wait a second. How can I be for this when I spent eight years trying to have a little life as part of our family, to create our family, and to see the power of that in our lives now with our daughter. It, I just had that, you know, I don't know if it's epiphany or whatnot, but that eureka moment where I was just like, wait a second. No, I, I'm not pro-choice, I'm pro-life. <laughs> I'm like, this life is so important uh, that I was, just given the ability to steward my daughter's life, just to have that. How could I possibly not be for her? You know, something that I hear a lot is, you know, what if the, the person was raped? And, you know, being a victim myself, um, I have thought about that. And, you know, part of the Me Too movement in the sense that, you know, I was a victim as well. Like, I feel like I can kind of understand 
that perspective a little bit like I haven't I didn't get pregnant or anything like that so I don't have to worry about that but I, I feel like I have a tiny understanding in that and I still feel like that wasn't anything that I chose right so that still wasn't a choice it's still not giving me a choice and at the same time it was someone else's fault and it's not I don't understand why the child then would would then suffer. Like it just doesn't make any sense to me that this child would then all of a sudden have to pay the price for something terrible that happened to me. Everybody has moments where they're struggling and there's something that's really hard and no one gets to choose the family that they're born into. And we have to grow up in that environment and shouldn't we still have that opportunity to take what might be really painful and suffering and make it beautiful? It's those moments and in those times that if you can get through it, you have a powerful story now that can hopefully help other people who are going through it as well. Shouldn't someone, if they have a rough life, which we all do at some points, have the right to have those difficult moments and make it into something beautiful and powerful. It may take their entire lifetime, maybe they don't get there, but isn't it their right to do that? I mean, I just, I can't imagine taking that from somebody. No one said life was going to be easy. <laughs> but I think we can, we can make something beautiful from it. I don't want to belittle anyone's story, and it is, you know, everyone makes their own decisions. But for me, I can't now, seeing how much I have been blessed by the choice of life, I can't stay quiet anymore. I feel like it's my duty and my obligation to just give another perspective and just to say thank you to all those people who have worked so hard for me to have this life that I have. And that is just such a wonderful gift and I will always be grateful for that.